uh, there are a number of sessions that uh, that they've redone as far as the configuration of the screens. They're called multi-main screens, where you can have uh, header and line information all on the same screen. Uh, a lot of times in, in Bond 5, you had like a summary session, and then you would drill into the lines session. Sales orders is a, is a good example. Um, but that was kind of inconvenient that all of the things weren't on the same screen. You had to pop back and forth. You had to go search for a record. Once you got into the line session, you had to search for the record and so on. So it was a little inconvenient. So what they've done now is they, they've created these multi-main screens. And uh, you can, there's, they, they divided them up so that you have separate sessions, but you can access them through the menu or you can access you know, access them directly, or you can come in from the list session, either way. So I'll give you an example of purchase orders. If you look at the procurement menu, so they called it, they did a number of name changes on you. Purchasing is now called procurement, as an example. If I click the down arrow, I can go to purchase orders. I click on purchase orders, and you'll see there are two sessions here. One is called purchase orders, and one is called purchase order. So if you're looking for a particular purchase order and you want to see all the lines, you can go directly to purchase order. And I'm going to hold down the because I want to uh, open it up in a new window. So I'm going to hold down the control key again, and then I'm going to click on it. And up it pops in a separate window. Okay, so this is what is called a multi-main screen. So as you go through here, you will see the header information up here. Um, and, of course, there's the financial information up there in the header for summary information. And then you'll see a, uh, as you go around here, you'll see a little bar that pops up where you can change the size of the lines to see more header information or more line information. So you can just drag it and drop it. So it's divided into the two sections. Um, and you'll also see down here you'll have lines. Um, and here you have, because of the dynamic form aspect of Mingle, you actually have, so you'll see order lines here, and then you'll have a release to warehousing, for example. This is, this is actually, in Bond 5, would be a number of separate sessions. So basically, each one of these would be a different session. So now you have, for this order line, you have all this other information about whether it's released to warehousing, whether it's been received, and you see here, uh, you, you have a receipt, you have the receipt date, you have the receipt number, you have the packing slip, all that information that in Bond 5 you would have had to look it up all in separate sessions, you can look it up right here. So you even have things that are related to finance, all that you can access all within the same session here. So, for example, if I go here to payable receipts, if I had registered an invoice and I had matched it to this purchase order line, I would actually see the finance information here. So I would see the supplier's invoice number, I would see whether it's been paid, and so on. So that's very convenient if you're a buyer uh, you could look at a purchase order screen here, and you could see what's happened on the finance side without having to go and look at uh, open entries or look at a an AP dashboard or something like that. It's all right here for you. Okay, so you you also have what's called monitor session or uh, monitor tabs uh, that you can go to that that will tell you before you had sort of like let's say you had purchase order line status or sales order line status. Here you can access that right from here. And you can also personalize this so that let's say I wanted to see where it is in the process. So I wanted to see if the purchase order line has been uh, printed, uh, whether it's been released to warehouse and so on. So I can actually personalize this form by hitting this little gear and I can personalize the toolbar. So I can actually say I want to see the status of that purchase order right out front so I don't have 
big, I don't have to go to a menu. I can just put it here. So I'm going to take it from hidden over to visible and save it and come on out. So I'm going here. And now you see a status, a uh, little exclamation point here. And when I click on this, it will tell me exactly where I am in the process. So I can see here that the purchase order was printed, that it was released to warehousing, that it was awaiting receipt, and the receipt has been done. Um, and here's the receipt number. So it's really convenient because, you know, you can just look up that information without going to a separate session and looking up the PO number and then just going through the steps. Okay? So it's quite convenient. Now you see here, this is the uh, order line activities automation that I was talking about. This step here, print purchase orders, if I approve the purchase order, it will print the purchase order, and it's not shown here, but it will actually print it directly to a PDF that will pop up on my screen. It will release it straight to the warehouse, which, and then that, I've set it up to print to my screen, just the D66 is the printer display. Um, and then you can see here that I want to actually manually receive it in the warehouse. I don't want to automate that process. But, you know, if, if, if I wanted to, I could even automate that process. So um, anyway, so it's, it's just a convenience thing. All right. So I actually could, I can also access this session through the menu or the, uh, the overview session that has all the purchase orders listed, and I can get to it from there. So if I go back to procurement here and I go down to purchase orders, I can actually click. So I'm going to open it up in a new window again, control, control click, and here I have my purchase orders listed. So if I wanted to look at a particular, that same purchase order, which is this B01 bunch of zeros one, I just click on this little go to details button and up pops the same screen that I was just in. So in other words, I can access it straight from the menu or I can access it through a list session and then click on the details.